it's that time of the month again, folks. Solar stats. Um, I know there's a few of you out there that are interested in solar stats that we're, we're our own energy we're producing. So December 2021, we did 145 kilowatt hours. January 2022, we've done a little bit better. Um, we've had quite a bit of sun, and on certain days we've run out of loads. The most we've ever seen on this inverter with the panels coming in is about 2,050 watts, which is pretty good because combined they're rated at 2,280. And they say that you'll never get the full wattage coming in. So, you know, almost 2,100 watts coming in is not bad. At certain points we was finding that we didn't have enough load on the house to maximise the solar. So once the batteries are at 100% and you're not using the power, it stops pulling in from the solar. That's how all these inverters and that work. Just because you've got solar panels out there, it doesn't mean that you're going to be pushing 2,000 watts into your house all the time. It works the other way around. The, the inverter pulls from the solar panels what it needs so you'll quite often see this on the solar curve it'll go really really strong up to about one o'clock which is normally about the strongest part of the day when there's no loads the solar will just drop straight down um, so you sort of we're adjusting a lifestyle a little bit so we're sticking the water heater on the hobbit does you know puts a couple of loads of washing on because at certain points the washing machine uses nearly two kilowatts for doing the heat cycle uh, the, the water heater we've got is just under two kilowatts that if we're having that on every day it'll run for about an hour and a half a day what we've pretended to be doing is unplugging it every other day you know we'll we'll, we'll charge up on solar and we'll unplug it because it does cut in and out just to keep it up to temperature but it does stay fairly warm for you know a day or so so we've been doing that unplugging the, the water heater it's plenty enough for washing up a little quick shower here there and everywhere so yeah we have sort of been struggling on days where there's a lot of sun but then days like today it's miserable we're relying on the grid power to charge the batteries at the moment we've got Hundred and fifty watts coming in. It is proper miserable out there. Last week was lovely. Um, really, a good lot of sun. And I say it, it, we were struggling to use the amount of power. The most we ever got was twelve point one kilowatt hours in a day. Is the energy that we managed to produce and save, um, or save and use. So the batteries are up to hundred percent, and then we're using the power. Uh, if the load is less than what the solar panels can produce, um, it will be done solely on the solar panels. If the load is slightly higher, say we're getting 1,900 watts coming in off the uh, off the panels, and the whole house is about 2.2 kilowatts, it will then start pulling it out of the battery, uh, which leads us on to more solar panels basically so that string of solar panels we've got adding them all up we can get four more panels that would give us almost the maximum open voltage that we can put into the the thing here and that will give us about 3.6 kilowatts coming in on that one string which would power most loads in this house so my oven if that comes on that's about two kilowatts the water here is two kilowatts if they all came on at once obviously it wouldn't do it but um, four more panels and that would probably cover most of you know the solar panels would power all the loads in the house and we wouldn't be pulling out of the battery that is the aim so the batteries will get charged up to 100% and then they'll just sit idle until they're not needed anymore <clears throat> that's the plan that's what we're aiming for this year the hobbit's out at work so <laughs> bringing in the pennies because um, it although solar panels are cheap you've got to get the frame 
we could make a frame, but I want to get the same metal frame that we had before because it's it's brilliant. It's strong. It's going to last for years. Uh, we're not going to have to worry about the wood rotting out. So that's all well and good. Um, yeah. So we'll have a quick look on the old app now and uh, EDF. So we'll see you on the computer. So from March 2021 to February 2022, 730 euros. So you can see the downward slope from May last year. This is when we obviously sold the dishwasher and all that kind of stuff. We were getting the bills down, 66, 64, 63, 63. December, the first month we was on solar. I didn't put all the circuits on uh, until the 17th. That was 49 euros. And then January, 37 euros. So let's just see how many kilowatt hours that is. Now this has changed, December, because when I did the last video, it says December was 190 something. I can't remember what it was. But they've readjusted that, but the price hasn't gone up any. So, but so yeah, January we did 122 kilowatt, kilowatt, kilowatt hours off the grid. So that is electric we've paid for. Um, let me just go to January. So you can see here, three kilowatt hours, 10, 7, 4, 4, 8, 7. This is per day. And then here we get quite a good week. Where we've obviously had a lot of sun, zero kilowatt hours that day. I'm not sure what that's all about because we've always used the lights and the lights are still on the grid. Then we've got like a little block here. That's obviously cloudy days where we've had to charge the batteries up off the grid. And then we get a week where it's pretty much all solar. And then towards the end of January, it gets pretty rough. So three, eight, 13 kilowatts. So we'll just scroll down. Um, here we go. This is January 2022, 37 euros. January 2021 was 77 euros. So we have reduced our bill by 52%. So let's check the kilowatt hours. 121 kilowatt hours this January. 394 last January. Um, yeah, so I don't know what we was doing last January, but that's pretty high. <laughs> So yeah, we're actually paying 20 euros for physical electric that we've used and the 17 euros is what they charge us for standing order. Here's the Grow Watt app. Um, pretty dismal today. We've got 48 watts coming in on solar panels, zero from grid. Batteries at 26%. We're discharging 199 watts out of the battery because the load on the house is 214. So far today, we've done 1.1 kilowatt hours. We've discharged two kilowatts hours out of the battery we've charged 1.1 we've imported nothing from the grid at the moment when the battery drops down to 20 percent then it will switch to grid and charge the batteries up load consumption on the house today is 2.4 kilowatt hours so here we go the red one is the load that's pretty minimal all the way along here so 140 35 35 150 that's normally the whatever it is and then at seven o'clock the hobbit turns the heating on so it jumps up to 260 260 fluctuates around there this is the toaster in the morning and then we come along here and i've i've cleaned all the ovens today so when i've cleaned it i i fired the oven up so that's the spike that's my oven now, the little blue one here that's the solar coming in so very minimal today it is miserable out there that is the one downside to solar this is the battery all the way down <laughs> so I'll go back to yesterday um, where we had to charge off the grid so we charged from midnight through till almost three o'clock and it's minimal load and then there's a massive load I think I plugged the water heater in um, and then it charged off the grid again and the blue ones are um, solar so, but uh, yeah going back we've had quite a good bit of, we've had a good run on solar so you know we go back to the 28th very good look I mean we've had the water heater plugged in the solar has almost covered the water heater um, a nice solar curve there now you'll see here the solar curve comes up and goes over and it dips down that is because the battery's got to 
And once the batteries are at 100% and there's no load, the, it doesn't pull any solar in. So obviously we put a load on it, it'll then start pulling solar in via, you know, and it does that. So I think there's a couple of days where it, it's done that. Here, battery's got charged up. Um, you know, we're pulling in nearly 2000 watts there. Uh, battery's got charged to 100%. There's no other loads. So the solar just drops off and that's it. And here again, you see it starts up nice, comes up, goes over, and it just drops off. Um, that wasn't the sun going in because we've had really nice sunny days. That's, uh, you know, once there's no load on it, that's it. It's in and it's gone. This app's been a bit slow today. Is everything is data logged and it, but it's logged on the GrowWatt server, which is in China or wherever. Here we go. Nice solar curve. Strongest part of the day is around about one o'clock in the afternoon. Gets to about half past two. Drops straight down. That's because the batteries are full. And there's no load. Obviously, looks like we had the oven on here. But uh, yeah, so there's that. We'll just click on here. This is the solar that's coming today. At most, we've <laughs> we've got 470 watts. So today is not a very good day for solar. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to do month. So we'll just wait for this app to uh, wake itself up. So here's January. Um, 205.7 kilowatt hours. Now we'll go back to last, uh, the first month, which was December last year. We did 145.5 kilowatt hours. So we're already up on December. Now a lot of that is because we've had more loads. Um, we had a lot of sun as well. So yeah, it's all looking good on the solar front. So yeah, some rather pleasing numbers for January. Um, so our EDF bill at December last year was 49 euros, January is 37. Now over the year um, we've reduced our consumption by quite a bit and our EDF bill for January 22 compared to January 21 is 52% less. So that's quite a good saving. Um, I know electric's not expensive really but uh, we had a power cut the other night and uh, it is quite funny because we both sat there looked at each other and says well we only knew we had a power cut because the lights went off everything else stayed on the lights are still on the uh, the grid because it's at the top of the box and I've not managed I've, well I've not switched them over onto the solar yet so lights went off and it's sort of like what's happened here but the internet was still on <laughs> We did have a little chuckle to ourselves that we were still power powered up and uh, thinking, oh, all the neighbours will be sitting there in the dark. It's a bit sad, really, but there you go. Um, so, yeah, I will get the lights switched over at some point, and then that will just leave the Hobbit's oven and the kettle. Um, so, yeah, so far this solar is looking quite good. It takes a bit of managing. You have to adjust your lifestyle a little bit, which is not a big deal. Um you just have to do things differently. Like if you want to use your ovens, it's better to use them during the day rather than in the evening. Now, obviously, this time of year, it's the shortest days, isn't it? So we're getting the, the less light. The solar curve sort of starts around just around about 9 o'clock, comes over, and it sort of tails off about half past 4, quarter to 5-ish. So obviously in the summer, longer days, more power. But uh, that'll be interesting to see and how much power we can actually use <laughs> it's only a small house there's only two of us so um but if we can get the batteries charged up to 100 percent and then the loads can be dealt with with the solar panels that'll be ideal um the only downside we've got at the moment is as you know solar is generated by sunlight and we're not getting a lot of it at the moment it is quite bright over there so it might kick off a bit later on um so the storage situation with the batteries is, well, that's going to come in when it stays like this. So hopefully we could 
add to our storage. Once the batteries are fully charged up, they can just sit there idle then. Um, our loads overnight are not great, so, you know, potentially if we get another couple of batteries and just over 10 kilowatt hours of storage, uh, on a sunny day, I, I suppose the batteries might last a week. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll find out through the year. I'll do a solar stat every month, um, just for you out there that are interested, and uh, we'll see how we progress with this system. So far, um, touch wood, um, it's all working well, and uh, it's a two thumbs up from me. So, I hope you like this video, uh, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.